Have you ever seen the movie Field of Dreams? Well, I've got a bit of a, a dream here. It's not building a baseball field. It's building a pizza oven and an entertainment area. So this is not a tree video, but I thought you might be interested. My friend Ed is a landscape contractor. He actually used to work for me in the tree business for years and years. Now he does landscape contracting, and he so graciously said he would help me with this project. So, step number one, expose the septic tank and get it pumped. Step number two, build the wall all the way around the future area for a patio. There's Ed, great guy. I've known him since he was 10 years old. And we brought in, believe it or not, five tons of base rock and had to spread it and run the tamper around water it down and tamp it and water it down and tamp it and get it all level. And we had to set it up so that there was a slight uh, grade off to the back corner there so that the water would drain off. And here's what I'm planning to do. These pavers I acquired from one of my clients. I did a job where uh, the client was taking all these things out because he said they were too hot around his pool. They're black granite. And he didn't really want them. And I was doing some stump grinding for him. He says, I'll tell you what, I'll trade you all these granite slabs for the stump grinding job. So I'm sure I got the better end of the deal. But that meant I had a project, which I'm glad I'm doing. But this has been taking me years to get this done. So Ed and I decided to really put a lot of effort into figuring out how to get these big slabs in here. Did I mention these slabs are over 100 pounds each? Really awkward. They're 30 inches by 30 inches and an inch and a half thick. Solid granite. And it was a challenge. It was a real challenge. We came up with this innovative idea to, uh, we used some parachute cord, which is real thin and a couple of nice hardwood sticks. And we tied it on one side and I used a clove hitch knot on the other side clove hitch because it's easy to untie and what we did was we put each piece in place and we put uh, separators in between three eight three eighths inch uh, redwood separators to uh, place them accurately and then with this little device here I was able to lift them and get them really really close but it's a lot harder than I expected Ed's good at this I'm not this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So you can see the, the dividers there. That's to keep the, the gap in between each one similar. I say similar because these pieces of, con of uh, granite were not all exactly the same. Some of them were off by as much as a half an inch. And the, the thicknesses were off just a little bit. So it was a challenge. It was a real challenge to get this patio flat. Because the last thing we want to do is, is have trip hazards everywhere. Should be fine. Should be I've great. got, let's see, uh, I started this project four years ago. And then it went on hold for a number of reasons. And I've revisited this project the last couple of weeks with Ed because he had some time between jobs. I'm paying him to help me. And it's turning out to be a whole lot harder than I expected. Putting these things in place is, is really tough. This little um, technique he's got of laying down the one inch and inch and a half uh, PVC. So he's got a way of screeing the material down uh, was perfect. There's the way we carried him. What we did is we untied one end and we were able to pull that little parachute cord out with disrupting the the sand underneath or moving it um, to put these things down by hand would have just been unbelievably difficult anyway there you go you can see we got it pretty good uh, we worked until dark hey thanks for watching uh, i'll follow up when i'm done